Look, now you can play all your favorite Scratch platformers, literally any Scratch game, on your phone. Hi, my name is Enel Kang, and this is my Scratch Go presentation. So what is Scratch Go, really? It's a website that I've built that solves one really, really simple problem. I've always wanted to play my Scratch games on a phone, but phones don't have keyboards. And as you may know, a lot of Scratch games require keyboard controls. I thought, what if I gave the phone a keyboard? Now we have Scratch Go. It's basically a website that sort of emulates Scratch and it adds a layer of keyboard controls on top of your Scratch experience. Now I have the actual website here. So let me first show you how you can put any Scratch game that's shared onto Scratch Go and play it on your phone. What you're gonna first do is actually you're gonna go to Scratch and find the game that you wanna play. This is Griff Patch's Apple, I hope it's pronounced properly, it's spelled weird, so I don't know actually. As you can see, Scratch is not really optimized for playing or viewing on mobile, but that's where Scratch Go comes in. So if you just go into copy link, click on it, and then here you have the option to copy this link. You can either copy this or you can just copy the URL at the top, they both work. You go back to Scratch Go, because it's also just another website, and then here at the top you can see there is a search bar right there. So you click on the search bar, and it gives you the option to enter in the URL by hand, but obviously we don't need to do that. We click on it again to get the option to paste. And now we're gonna paste the URL we just copied, click done, and look, it's loading the Scratch game. Now some of you might recognize this loading screen. It's actually Turbo Wrap. Turbo Wrap, no, Turbo Warp. I'm so sorry, I keep saying it wrong. Turbo Warp, that's right. Scratch Go is actually built off of Turbo Wrap. So, no, I keep saying Turbo Wrap. Turbo Warp. So huge thanks to the creators of Turbo Warp for making this whole project open source and um, it really taught me a lot about web development. Actually, also because it's on Turbo Warp, it runs faster than Scratch does on your phone. So that's another bonus of using Scratch Go. But as you can see here, these are keyboard controls. So if you click on this, it basically does which direction is this? Right key, this is the right key, this is the left key, up and down, A and B. But what if your game doesn't use these controls? What if you need specific control bindings for your game? That's where this comes in. At the top, you'll see this control. It's a joystick. If you click on the joystick, you will have the option to remap any one of your keys. And then if you click on the joystick again, it goes back to the normal screen and you can see how we have that. Now, obviously I have to show you this working. So let me change my controls back. But okay, there we go. So your mouse controls are all the same. You just click and it just works like the mouse. And look, now you can play all your favorite Scratch platformers, literally any Scratch game on your phone. And that's really, really cool. That's, this is super exciting. And a few more features to mention. At the top here, there's a second button. That's the description button. So I used, hold on. I used the Scratch API to import all the descriptions straight from scratch. I made it recognize links, I made it recognize if you mention people, if you mention users, it also gets linked. So they all basically, it's like a simple functionality, it works as you would expect it to. At the top we also have mute, and then here we have a link button. If you click on that link icon, it's gonna say link copied. Now with that link, you can go to any search bar, you go into it, and it doesn't just load up Scratch Go, it loads up Scratch Go with that specific game um, from the link that you copied. So this is really useful if you want to share your game to be played on Scratch Go with your friends. You just click this link here, you send them the link, and when they open it, it's going to be like the exact same game that you were playing. Another thing is you could also just, oh my gosh. Another thing is that you could go to the top and you just, you know, copy that URL and it's going to work. All right, that's really cool, but there's more. At the bottom, there's now this new like navigation bar and you can see we're currently on the play tab and um, there's a few others. So 
I'm gonna show you guys games first. If you click on games, it's gonna open this games tab. And as you can see, it has, you know, the popular games. Now these, these stats, by the way, um, it's not from Scratch. These stats are based on how many times these games have been played on Scratch Go. So it's specific to Scratch Go. Scratch Go basically has its own database for counting like for views and also like, you know, when these games were last played. And basically on the games tab, you can explore and you can find really popular games that everyone's playing right now. It also keeps track of the games that you've played so that you can go back to them really easily. And the few other tabs, for example, like favorites or accounts, I'm still working on those. So basically if you click them right now, nothing happens. But in the future, I hope to implement some kind of a account system and you can save your favorite games. You know? So basically, yeah, if you just click on any game, it just opens it up as you would expect. If you click on the home button, it takes you to the landing page. So this is the Scratch Go homepage. It's pretty simple. Um, you can also get the Google Play version of this. It's a bit older. I'm not updating it anymore because the web player works for basically everyone. If it doesn't work for you, please tell me. I'll try to figure out why. Also at the top, click on this menu and then there's devlogs. So yeah, I've been actually working on this for the past half a year already almost um, because this is actually my first web project and I'm not a very experienced web developer if you can tell. So this has been a very very interesting learning experience for me and I've um, documented everything here in detail if you want to read that. Um, yeah that's basically it. This is Scratch Go. Um, thank you for coming to my presentation and um, links are on the description, so go wild with it. It's just a passion project of mine, and I've been wanting something like this since I've been a kid. I've been a kid? Since I was a kid. Yeah, so it's in the description. Thank you for watching, and go have fun with it. See you guys.